you can see this is the dashboard. Uh, so the most important areas that we talked about were the lists area, which is where your list is. One thing I really want to talk about that's really important that I mentioned in class uh, that I want to also say on the video is that a lot of people make mistakes with the lists. Um, they will create several lists instead of a single list with several groups and subgroups. Um, there are times and places for lists. A lot of that has to do more with automation than it has to do with regular communication. In our list, we had uploaded the ladies and segmented them into groups based on hair color, um, just to kind of show that it could be done and how it can be done. So just as a reminder, the groups fall under Manage Subscribers. So if you are in Lists, you go over to the right-hand side and you hit Manage Subscribers here. You can also get there by going to Lists and clicking on the Master List or whatever you want to call your list and then going to Groups there for Manage Subscribers. So there's several different ways you can get there. And then you can create the colors or the groups any way you want. So you can create a group here, and we could say um, we could do it by by um, postcode if we wanted, or by location, uh, city. You could do it by height. You could do it by you know whatever fits your um, your sponsor. So with Tech Pixies, we have sponsors who sponsor the Tech Pixies, and then we have the Tech Pixies themselves who are working on the projects. So the other thing we could do is basically say um, type um, and we could say tech pixie uh, or sponsor. <coughs> so we can do that and then I can save the group. So uh, one way to add people to groups is to um, create your groups and then when you're in your list go through and select the people that you want to add to the group, go to actions, and then add to group, and then you can choose the hair color or the type or whatever you've created. Um, the other way is to do it with an import. So you would um, import people into the groups. So you'd go to your group section, you'd view your groups, um, and then you would import to that group. You would choose to either do a CSV or a copy paste from file. I think copy paste from file is pretty easy. Um, so what we would do is if we wanted to take the Tech Pixies list um, and we wanted to copy and paste them into here, we would just hit next and we'll paste them in just like that. And then we check that we understand and then we move to the next and because I'm importing into a group it should ask me which group I want to go to we've already uploaded everyone but we've not added them to a group so this is the opportunity to now add them to a group and if I hit next it should ask me which group there we go so I'm going to add them as subscribed and then I'm going to add them as type tech Pixie. And then I'm going to click Auto Update My Existing List and Import. And it will now update the Tech Pixie list um, so that it also shows their type. And I can do the same thing with the Tech Pixie sponsors.